Good afternoon, everyone. So Easter's coming up soon, and I feel like it's been a busy year already with COVID and isolation and quarantine at the same time as school going back, everybody going back to the workplace, travel starting again, everything's opening up, all the peace and quiet we had during the two years of COVID has exploded into busyness and expectations and we're all caught up in that merry-go-round again. So what I wanted to share with you today was five tips of things to do for yourself this Easter. So I know most of us will have family commitments, children or we care for parents or other people. We've got family or friends or maybe we're by ourselves, or maybe a mix of both. And we tend to get caught up in everything else and not take the time to do something nice for us. So here are my five tips for something different to do for ourselves this Easter. So the first one is to go to bed with a good book. Might be first thing in the morning, middle of the day, late at night. Find that book you've got on the table that or in the bookshelf that you've been waiting to read. Grab a cuppa and a snack if you feel like and just get into bed open the pages of the book and escape to the magical, wonderful kingdom that is reading. The second thing we can do for ourselves this Easter is to buy ourselves a bunch of flowers. Now, I know we all tend to buy flowers for other people and or plants for other people, but how often do we actually buy ourselves a bunch of flowers just to show appreciation for ourselves? So next time you're in Woolies or wherever you do the groceries, have a look at the flowers and pick yourself a nice bunch with the flowers that you like the look of that make you smile. Take them home, put them pride of place in the kitchen or the dining room, and every time you see them, pat yourself on the back and thank yourself for everything you do do because we often don't stop and think and appreciate ourselves. The third thing we can do for ourselves this Easter is make a fruit and nut platter. Now, it can have berries, nuts, savoury biscuits, hummus or avocado dip. It might have chocolates or lollies on it or Easter eggs being that it's Easter. The point is it's a snack platter that we can sit there and share with a friend or family or just have ourselves while we're just having quiet time. The fourth thing we can do for ourselves this Easter is go and paddle and splash in water. So if we're near a river or a lake or the ocean or even the local pool, if it's still open, go and jump in some water, splash in some water. The refreshing energy of water can really boost our positive mood. If we don't have water nearby, jump in the bath or the shower or even run outside under the sprinkler or the hose. You'd be amazed how better you feel after splashing around in water. And the last thing we can do for ourselves this Easter is phone a friend. So during COVID, we all got good at contacting via the internet, via telephone, and then with life getting busy again, a lot of us just get back to the busyness and always mean to contact but just run out of time. So grab half an hour, pick a friend or a family member you enjoy talking to and jump on the phone and ring them. So there are five different ways we can look after ourselves this Easter while still looking after everyone else and still doing everything else as well. Do you have another? Um, you might have another way of pampering yourself or looking after yourself that you think is really cool. I'd love to hear about it. So jump on and let me know and stay tuned for some more videos coming your way soon. Have a good day. Bye.